so sexy right now, my little Jaguar. <laughs> Get a room, guys. What are you on about? As if I haven't noticed. Notice what? You're terrible at hiding from tabs. <sighs> I didn't like keeping things from you. It's all right. Um, I'm actually here for that tenor you owe me. Oh, yeah, um, it's in my bag on the hook. I think it's cute. I think you should come out. And maybe... Maybe she has a point. What? Yeah, maybe we should go public. Public? As in our Insta? Well, yeah. And IRL with your family. What? You're ashamed of me? No, it's just things ain't great in my mum at the moment. Babe, I thought you said it felt good standing up to her. Yeah, I did. But maybe I should let dust settle before I do it again. Our only heroes get free lunches. Oh, well, well, I'll tell her. All right, excellent. We can all meet for a drink in the Vic after my shift. Four o'clock, yeah? Do you reckon he's bought a puppy? Or another rat. <laughs> yeah, but why would he bring us to a pub to show us a puppy? He's late. I haven't got time to hang around. I've got things to do. What did that detective want? Oh, it's here. Everyone, I'd like to meet my girlfriend. You've got to be kidding me, bro. <laughs> well, it could never said. You're paying her, right? He is paying. Finn! I got you something just to say how excited I am to get to know you. Aw, that is so sweet. Isn't it just? Mum? Is this a serious relationship? I love her. And I love him. Where down am I tripping off? Mum, say something. Welcome to the family. Really? You, you're right about it, cos I just want everyone to get along. I don't want any trouble. Yeah, the way he was going on, I thought you'd be a right dragon. <laughs> what you have to understand about me, Habiba, is that above all else, I just want my family to be happy. Buy yourselves a drink. On me. You ain't staying? Can't, I'm afraid. I've got prior engagements. But don't let me stop you having fun. Oh, don't forget your cupcake. <laughs> Mum. Not now. It's very hard as a mother to know how best to protect your children. You spend your whole life terrified that something's going to happen to them. Desperate to insulate them from the harsh realities of life. And then one day you realise that you might have gone too far. That you might be responsible for them making bad choices. And so, as much as this pains me to say it, I can't protect that boy anymore. And you're sure your son was wearing these on the day of Martin Fowler's assault? Yes. I'm sure. 